so welcome to my youtube channel tkf electronics i hope you all are doing fine well friends today i have received for repair one of uh, it's a mackie model uh, mackie srm 450 model this is module uh, stage monitor module for repair so let's check it out what is the issue in this so this is the active stage monitor Mackie SRM 450 model so this is the one this so the customer complaint is no power on so let's check what is the issue in this we will connect the power first so we will connect the power so we will give input power which is off. so on so it's on but there is no light so we will check the input power is coming or not So we will keep in the input range, AC range, power is coming or not, we will check. See guys, power is coming to 43 volt, ok, you can see, so power is coming, right, so input power is there, so we, from here, after our factor everything so it comes over here we will check so here is the rectifier DC bus area so we will check here up to here is coming or not power here we will check the DC voltage over here here side First, we will check DC voltage up to here. Anyway, we will check DC voltage over here. So, this is a rectifier, bridge rectifier. See, guys, rectification is going on. 330 volt DC is coming. Means our AC circuit is good, right? So, the problem is in the power supply. Up to here is okay, but there is no Oscillation is going on the SMPS. Okay, guys, and so guys, we'll just disconnect the power now. So here rectification is going on up to here up to minus and plus two third uh, four two three thirty volt DC is coming over here. So now we'll check what is there any problem here this side something somewhere. Because some components are over here we'll just check some components so guys we'll check some ohms I mean some diodes are over here we'll check over there keep in the diode range so this is the diode is any shorting there's no shorting this is also a diode there's no shorting here also diode is there there is no shorting there is no shorting so guys no shorting is there in the diode so all diodes are good ok and this one resistor is here so this is the resistor of 118 ohms 120 ohms ok this resistor is also good so these one resist three resistors are there. One point four eight one mega ohms, thirty two kilo ohms. Okay, but it's fifty means fluctuation, but it's good going on. So this is okay. Over so one diode is over here. So there is no shorting at all, my friend. 
so there is no shorting at all but i see some burning over here something some burn i'll just show you see guys there is something is burn over here some see here you can see so i think some mosfet or capacitor is burn badly so what we'll do we'll just check here now there are two mosfets are there which is badly burned so we'll check the how they are still alive or shorted see guys they are shorted both are shorted friends so both are both uh, mosfets are shorted so now what we will do we'll just uh, take it out we'll just take it out everything because all our there are two mosfets so we'll take it only replace see showing 12 ohms it should not supposed to show so now what we'll do we'll take it out to remove this mosfet better take it out the pcb okay guys so there are some screws are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we just dismantle this and we'll take it out the pcb so all we have removed it out so guys we have already disconnected power connector also we need to disconnect completely so now we'll take it out so we have take it out everything so just keep aside because we need to work over here so guys we will take this out first it's very inside it's badly broken see oh. very badly broken see this is damage this is the pf 474250 volt 474250 volt 474k 250 old it's completely damaged so now we will remove step by step see guys this is very da badly damaged the pcb pf is damaged also so now we'll just clean this area and remove this mosfet to mosfet and we'll clean this area and we'll replace with the new mosfet so guys we'll remove this one this faulty mosfets will be take it out so we have take it out both the faulty one and now we'll clean this area we'll clean this area now very neatly So guys, number of this trans MOSFET is IRF B thirty one N twenty thirty one N twenty D. So both the same number. So now we'll check separately after taking out whether they are really shorted. See, I kept on the buzzer range. I kept on the buzzer range. See, this is badly shorted. So it should not supposed to be show all the three terminals. See, badly shorted due to this. Uh, what is it? Polyester capacitor. This also burn very badly. Okay, guys. Now we need to replace. One, two, three, and this PF. As you have seen, we have MOSFET is gone, so I got the new MOSFET with me original. This is okay. So and also uh, polyester capacitor also four seven four J it is. 
so 200 will 250 or 200 will put no problem so i will replace this these defective parts with the new one so we'll clean this area first and we'll clean this burn pf also we'll replace this also with the new one so just keep watching my video guys See, it's clean now. Should be like this. So now we'll fix new part. Whatever the, as you have seen, we have to replace new part now. So we'll fix now new part. One the polyester capacitor, and I already bended this one, and I put still silicone gel. So we'll fix it back now. Should be like this, like this. Okay, guys. So, guys, now we'll fix this. I already soldered this PF, which was damaged. This is the PF. So now we'll replace this one with the new one. I have already connected. This both will connect it from the back. So guys, now we'll fix this new one. So this. So guys, we replace this MOSFET with the new one. So now we'll change our polyester capacitor. This also will change. So guys, I already soldered everything. So now we'll check any shorting is there. MOSFET side. No shortage, friends. So now we have sorted the problem. So now we'll fix this back. So now we'll fix this back and we'll check it out. Okay guys, so we'll fix this, we'll fix this, we'll fix all the screws, so guys, now we'll check it, we'll apply the input power after fixing all the screws, then we'll check it out, I have already fixed it back everything, so now we'll put it on, as you know we have replaced this uh, two IRF and one burn PO polyester capacitor, from here so there was no power output so guys now it's time to now we have replaced this everything we have repaired this one so now it's time to check we'll connect this to the uh, speaker box okay we'll check it out so we'll connect this is for the led front led and this is for the speaker this is for the speaker we yes, just connected so now we'll this back. Okay, guys, put the two screws. So we'll tie the screw one. Just for testing purpose, we'll fix now only two screws only. So now we will switch it on, we will put it on friend, so it's on, so now we will give the input signal, I will connect the input signal from my mobile, I already put it on, see this is the one, so we will connect this. You see, it's working. So, guys, it's working. Okay, guys, now see. 
Guys will so guys thank you very much for watching my video if you like my video guys like it share it if you have any comments please leave it in the comment box uh, take care bye bye see you in next video very soon